Atlantic Treaty Organization is a voluntary alliance of 16 nations. NATO originated during the breakup of the wartime alliance system and the Cold War, the Berlin blockade, the Greek Civil War, and Stalin's reversal of promises given at Yalta were all motivating factors in forming the alliance, as well as the fear of a communist takeover in certain West European countries, namely France, Italy, and Greece. NATO's first Secretary General, Lord Ismay, outlined the purpose of the alliance to keep the Russians out, to keep the Americans in, and to keep the Germans down. The North Atlantic Treaty was signed in 1949, and the organization was established in 1950 to provide a collective defense in Western Europe against a possible attack by Russia or any other aggressor. NATO has always had both political and military dimensions. The political dimensions involve deterrence and detente, and carrying out the Western policy of containment. The military dimension is based on deterrence through a credible combination of conventional and nuclear capabilities. 1960s, NATO's military strategy changed primarily because of American concerns about the non-credibility of massive retaliation. And NATO's military strategy came to be characterized by two phrases, forward defense and flexible response. Forward defense was the assertion that we would not trade German territory for time in defending NATO. This was necessary for domestic German political reasons. Flexible response was essentially the American concept of a graduated set of deterrent re responses which would come into play before the unleashing of the central nuclear systems. The political structure of NATO involves the 16-member government of the Alliance consulting and coordinating policies through the North Atlantic Council. The Council is the highest authority in NATO. It normally meets twice a year at the ministerial level with all 16 foreign ministers present. In permanent session, the Council meets at least once a week at the level of ambassador. When integrated defense matters are discussed, the 14 permanent representatives meet as the Defense Planning Committee, or DPC. France and Iceland are not members of the military organization. The Council and the DPC have established a number of committees. These committees cover the entire range of NATO activities. The Secretary General of NATO chairs both the Council and the Defense Planning Committee. The senior military authority within NATO is the Military Committee, which provides military advice to the Council and the DPC. It's composed of the Chiefs of Staff of the 14 member countries participating in NATO's integrated military structure. France withdrew in 1966, and Iceland has no military forces. The NATO defense area is divided into three major Allied commands, the Atlantic Command, the Allied Command Europe, and Channel Command. The Canada-United States Regional Planning Group coordinates North American defense with NATO. Most of NATO's forces are in the Allied Command Europe, which is directed by the Supreme Allied Commander Europe. That position is always held by an American general. Under the general guidance of the military committee, the major NATO commanders are responsible for planning the defense of the areas concerned and conducting NATO's land, sea, and air exercises. NATO's military structure has an integrated military staff. The Supreme Allied Commander Atlantic is always a U.S. Admiral headquartered in Norfolk, Virginia. The Supreme Allied Commander Europe is headquartered at Shape, Belgium. And the Allied Commander-in-Chief Channel is headquartered in the United Kingdom and is always headed by a British Admiral. Within the structure of the Allied Command Europe is the Ace Mobile Force, headquartered in Heidelberg. Allied Forces Northern Europe, Allied Forces Southern Europe, and Allied Forces Central Europe. Allied Forces Northern Europe is uh, located in Oslo and consists primarily of Denmark, Schleswig-Holstein in Germany, the Baltic Straits, and no Norway, the northern flank, if you will, of NATO. Allied Forces Southern Europe is the southern flank of NATO and consists largely of Turkey, Greece, Italy, and of course the, the Mediterranean fleets. The, the part of NATO that you'll probably have most to do with are Allied Forces Central Europe. This is absent 
located in Brunsum in, in the Netherlands. And this is headed up always by a German four-star general. The Allied Air Forces Central Europe are uh, headed up by the four-star American uh, commander of USAFE. Within the next echelon of the Allied Command Europe is the Northern Army Group and the Central Army Group. The Northern Army Group, or NORTHAG, consists of four core-sized elements and is always headed by a British four-star general. It's supported by the 2nd Allied Tactical Air Force located at Mönchengladbach in West Germany. The Central Army Group, or CENTAG, is headquartered in Heidelberg and is one of the many functions of the U.S. Army Europe's Commander-in-Chief. CENTAG is supported by the 4th Allied Tactical Air Force located in Heidelberg. There are two German and two American Corps within CENTAG, the 2nd and 3rd German Corps, and the U.S. 5th and 7th Corps. The 2nd Armored Division Forward is a member of NORTHAG and are the forward deployed forces of the U.S. 3rd Corps at Fort Hood, Texas. Canadian forces constitute the CENTAG Reserve, and French forces are in Germany through a bilateral arrangement with the German government and do not belong to NATO. Within the NATO structure is the national structure of the U.S. European Command, headquartered in Stuttgart, West Germany. The Supreme Allied Commander Europe is also the commander of the U.S. UCOM. There are three components within this command, the U.S. Army Europe in Heidelberg, the U.S. Navy Europe in London, and the U.S. Air Forces in Europe at Ramstein Air Base. This diagram depicts USER's dual chain of command. The U.S. Army Europe reports to the Department of the Army, the Department of Defense, and finally to the President of the United States. Within the national structure of the European Command, USER reports to UCOM, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the Defense Department, and finally to the President of the United States. There are two corps within the U.S. Army Europe, 5th Corps headquartered in Frankfurt and 7th Corps headquartered at Stuttgart. 5th Corps commands the 3rd Armored Division, the 8th Mechanized Infantry Division, and the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment. Under 7th Corps is the 1st Armored Division, the 3rd Mechanized Infantry Division, the 1st Infantry Division Forward, and the 2nd Armored Cavalry Regiment. Other major commands within USER include the 21st Theater Army Area Command in Kaiserslautern, the Southern European Task Force based in Italy, the U.S. Army Berlin, the 32nd Army Air Defense Command in Darmstadt, and the 7th Medical Command in Heidelberg. The 7th Army Training Command is responsible for all training areas within USER, including the largest ones at Hohenfels, Grafenwehr, Wieldflecken, and the missile firing range at Crete. There are many organizations that provide services to USER, but they don't belong to USER. They are referred to as stovepipe organizations. Some of the major stovepipes are the 5th Signal Command, the Military Traffic Management Command, responsible for all port operations, including POV transport, the Army Materiel Command, the Department of Defense Dependent Schools, and the American Forces Network Europe. There are three numbered air forces within the U.S. Air Forces in Europe. The third air force, located at RAF Mildenhall, is responsible for all U.S. Air Force bases in the United Kingdom. The 16th Air Force, headquartered at Torrejon Air Base, Spain, is responsible for the southern Mediterranean region in Spain, Italy, Greece, and Turkey. The 17th Air Force at Sembach Air Base in West Germany is responsible for all Air Force units in Germany, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Other major commands that support USAFE are the Strategic Air Command, the Air Force Communications Command, the Electronic Security Command, and the Military Airlift Command, which operates Rhine Main Air Base. The Air Force European Broadcasting Squadron, headquartered at Ramstein Air Base, also supports the U.S. Air Forces in Europe. The chain of command for Air Force personnel assigned to the Air Force European Broadcasting Squadron begins with the commander of Detachment 2, stationed at headquarters AFN, followed by AFEBS, then the Air Force Broadcasting Service, Air Force News Center, Air Force Office of Public Affairs, Secretary of the Air Force, Secretary of Defense, and the President of the United States. The chain of command for Army personnel assigned to the American Forces Network Europe begins with the commander of AFN, followed by the Army Broadcasting Service, the Office of the Chief of Public Affairs, the Secretary of the Army, the Secretary of Defense, and the President of the United States. 
This is just a brief overview of NATO and the U.S. forces in Europe. For more information, refer to your unit mission and functions manuals or community public affairs office. Enjoy your tour in Europe.